Welcome back YouTube to another mobile gaming video. I am your boy Scribble and today we are diving back into the realm of Age of Origins because we need to finish off the Wonderland adventure. Let's break this down. <laughs> Here we are once again. Now, if you hadn't seen my previous video on this, go back a couple of days. There is a video that covers part one of the Wonderland adventure, as this is a slow rolling out event. I haven't taken a look at what we've got new here, but essentially we've covered off the benefits card and we covered off the Gala medal. We now have access to Speed and Excitement, Gala Parade, Quest Bingo, and Limited Set. Limited Set, sorry, is part of the whole thing. You can unlock additional parts for your island, which together combine to lots of juicy bonuses for everybody involved. I'm going to first check out the quest bingo. We've seen this a couple of times. Quest bingo is essentially a series of challenges where you need to try and fill out the entire grid in order to unlock additional rewards and progress further. So let's take a look. Logging in as part of challenge one, you've got challenge one and challenge two. Can't have access to challenge two until you have beaten challenge one. So, first of all, we need to log in. We also need to kill five zombies. Not a problem at all. We also need to spend officer XP. What is that? 3,000 there and an additional 8,000. So, 8,000 officer XP in total. Now, this is not for your commander. This is for your officers, those that you set within your defenses to enhance your skills and your resource gathering rate and all that sort of business. We also need to use elite recruitment 10 times. So, if you've got a nine pack, that does count as 10. And we also need to buy two packs in order to get this done and meld 10 times. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do the recruitment. I think it's just, yeah, a 10 times. So if we can go over to the elite recruitment, we'll just jump into here. We'll use the recruit 10 times. Booyah, anything good? Selena Fragments, she's the latest officer for the game. That's not too bad. And then we get basically a bunch of skills and some officer XP. Now we did need to spend, I think it was 6,000 or 8,000 officer XP. Let's go over to officers. I want to increase my warfare officers. Let's go and take a look. Panda Jack over here. So here we go. Let's take a look. We've got 1,000. Let's just go ahead and put eight there. Confirm that. And that should be that done. That's two of our quests done. And we also need to meld materials another nine times because I've already done it once. So eight more times. Whoop. Have I got a big chunk of them somewhere over here? There we go. Let's go ahead and drop that down to eight. Save the rest for later on, because you never know, there could be additional things that we need to do. Not the Polar Invasion. We are looking for the Gala, uh, sorry, the Quest Bingo. Here we are. Not Quest Bingo. Why has that gone to the wrong area? That was very peculiar, wasn't it? So there we go. We finished off both of those. We need to buy two packs. Oh, I still need to meld material one more time and kill zombie five times. All right, let's meld one more piece of material. I could have sworn I'd already done one. Ignore me done that and we need to buy two packs so let's go over here now typically if you're looking at this sort of thing i would generally advise people to find the cheapest packs that they can find like this um speed up one over here however if you are going to be purchasing other things that could be of use we might as well get this free one right now um, I always advise people go ahead and start pushing for individual officers. Now, obviously, that's going to be a little bit more pricey, getting stuff like Stormbow Fragments or something like that. Uh, oh, sorry, that's Zeus, not Stormbow. Apologies. Um, these sort of things, yes, they are more expensive, but they do actually provide you with actual long-term benefits if you are going to be spending. So I'm just going to blitz through this. I've clicked the wrong button again. Just going to blitz through this right now so that we can uh, we can go ahead and see what the next stage is. So I need to spend an additional thousand gold. I'm sure we can manage that. I've got some stuff that is upgrading currently. So let's see, that's an extra 450 gold and that's 400 gold. We still need to do just a little bit more. So if I just upgrade this, that's obviously overkill, but that will finish off that. Now we do need to finish off on our kills for our zombies that's going to take a short amount of time whilst that's running we'll go ahead and check out what else is available now as you progress through here you don't have to obviously fill out all of the boards to claim rewards what you can do is just fill each individual line each individual row and as you can see down here you'll gain a number of stars once you get one star you're able to get this eight hour speed up recruitment speed up at three stars, you get five lucky chests, which is not too bad. Seven stars will actually get you nine recruitment orders. So that recruitment order that we just did technically just paid for itself, which is kind of nifty. And then we just need to get this last one here, which is kill five zombies. My guys are currently out and they will get that sorted and we'll move on to the next one. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and check out what else is new in the Wonder land adventure we have got speed and excitement not just speed but excitement as well this is an event item so essentially 
Every so often you'll be able to buy these event packs. They cost standard food resources. You're also able to spend gold over here for lollipops. Should have used that earlier, really, shouldn't I? That's not being very efficient. Um, and then you exchange these within the permit exchange over here. Sorry, not over there. Just over here you click and you can use these to gather points. Now, points will transfer over into permit exchanges, which you can then use to buy cosmetics for your island. You can also buy, you know, various consumables, as you can see over here. You can get roller coasters or you can get warplane XP. Obviously, the big items over here are far more costly. You would have to actually spend a significant amount of real world money in order to hit these additional things for your island. So I don't necessarily advise it because I think the return on investment is relatively low. However, if you want to spend it on some sort of resource packages, I don't think that they are a terrible, terrible investment. Additionally, Kingsley fragments are in the t uh, are in the unlimited phase, which is really not so bad. I always like to um, recommend people start working on all of their officer shards to try and get them up in the star count. It's always, always worthwhile. As you earn additional um, permits, different thresholds will unlock additional stores for you, which will have higher tier cosmetics and things for your island and stuff like that. But like I said, I don't think that this is really the most cost efficient use of people's money. Now, you can actually earn additional frog balloons and these lollipops as you go out battling monsters. So if you do have that um, auto kill available from your, your weekly benefits, send that out and have that running all day long. You should gradually over time gain some additional use of those consumables. Now, they won't actually be worth that much money. Now, there will, of course, be a cross-nation ranking reward. This is literally everybody in the game right now. Where are you all ranked as far as, you know, how many permits uh, have you exchanged? How many items have you dropped? And you will be able to get stuff. However, unless you're going to get into the top 600, you're not going to get anything really. And the rewards, uh, they're really just not that great, to be honest, guys. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend people go too crazy, crazy heavy on this because you would have to put a significant amount of money in there in order to compete with people. You see these guys over here have got over 9,000 points. I'm sure Vegeta's going to pop up soon and say something about that. Now, apart from that, we do have the Gala Parade as well, which is kind of like a, a small little game map, essentially, uh, where you roll dice. You roll dice in order to collect different rewards, and every time you do a full lap around the entire board, you're actually going to earn different rewards. You can see here, at the level one, you will be able to earn yourself this little mini water bar for your island. At level two, you get another one. At level three, you get another one. You see what I mean? So so what you do is you can get these dice and you can throw the dice. Hey, we look, we managed to move six squares. You only get the item that you land on that's on the sixth square. And obviously the items that you get here are random. You can get, I can see, 50,000 food there, for example. Or you can get double coins, for example. And of course, you can purchase additional rolls over here. Now, is there anything that's really worthwhile out of this? Well, the early ones over here, you can get eight Alexandria fragments. That's really not so bad. At 130, you can go to the glider. Now, how much does this actually cost to, to engage with? Eh. As we can see going over here, six dice is going to cost you about $5. So, you know, you're, you're getting just over, just over a roll per dollar and... Honestly, I can't recommend people go too crazy heavy on this. I don't think that the return on investment is really there. So if we were to go back and check this over here, we are currently 10 out of 60 over here. In order for us to get to that first one, I I think we might be able to do it with the first purchase. I'll, I'll give it a try over here. So you do, of course, have silver rolls and gold rolls. Now, the silver rolls are completely random. It will roll a dice one to six for you to roll. The gold rolls, it literally lets you choose. So you can use that to pick up the items that you actually want, okay? So, for example... For example, I might want to go ahead and get this parade incidents, which is one, two, three, four rolls away. So let's go ahead and hit four here. Roll it, and it's like, oh, isn't that surprising? It landed on four. It's almost like it was pre-planned. So there we go. We've gained ourselves this little incident quest. Get mate uh, Go meld materials ten times. Not too bad. We can go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and meld ten materials. Just to show you what, guys what it's like. I could probably get a full one from here somewhere. Down one. There we go. And now if we head back over to the Gala Parade, down over here, we can claim that. And we've got ourselves an eight-hour recruitment speed up. Not too bad. One, two, three, four. Oh, what's this one here? Gather bonus, eight hours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Healing speed up. I mean, we might as well just go ahead and roll a six here. Get us going all the way if we can. Boop, 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 boop. 
Obviously, we won't be able to make it all the way around, and it doesn't look like there's anything too, too valuable over here. We could roll our last one and get a one, two, three, potentially, to go ahead and uh, grab that officer XP, because I do value the officer XP. I think it is actually quite worthwhile. There we go. And that actually has hit that first tier for us. So we did, out of $5, we were able to get the eight Alexandria shards. Honestly, it's up to you whether or not you think that is actually completely worthwhile. It's not a terrible investment, but I can't, in all good conscience, ask people to start going really, really heavy on this gala parade. There is, of course, also some bonuses that we're just being gifted today. Childlike innocence of, is the light of hope. Isn't that a sweet thing to say? So this is just some free rewards here to celebrate Children's Day. It's not too bad thing to have, right? We got some elite recruitment order, a peace shield, healing speed up, love fireworks, and some lucky chests. And we've managed to finish off with our kills, so we're going to claim our end chest. We get some Titan equipment alloys, some pretty decent rewards. Let's go ahead and check to see what we need to do for the challenge card too. So we need to contribute to our alliance 10 times now. I've just done all my contributions. Uh, okay, 20 times in total. We also need to spend mutant meat 25,000 times. We also need to get a total of, what, 16,000 gold, is it? No, not 16,000 gold, 6,000 gold, apologies. Meld another 20 times and speed up another 800 minutes. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and go to the resource sale and get that one done very, very quickly. Resource sale. We want to get this 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... There we go. That should get that one done. We also need to meld another 20 times, I believe. So let's go over here to the elite recruitment uh, equipment facility. Down over here. Let's go this down to 20 times very quickly. Meld that up. This is why I always like to make sure we, I keep those resources available so that I can always use it for these events. I'm forgetting already what else I need to do. Need to spend another 3,000 gold and use a bunch of speed ups and then contribute to the Alliance. Okay, well, let's head over to the Alliance then. We can go into Alliance Technology. This will help with not only contributing to the Alliance, but also spending gold, so I'll do that both times. Over here, so that's already started us working on the gold. Speed up a total of 800 minutes. Now, currently, we are in um, Strongest Void Commander, so I'd quite happily speed up the time on my recruitments because that is going to help me um, progress, essentially, on the daily objective right now. Let's go ahead and swap my officers out so that I'm using a officer that's focused on recruitment and throw additional recruitment out like that. Then we just want to go ahead and swap back to Saki, who I finally... So 25,000 mutant meat is next. Let's go over here. And we've got, yeah, we've easy, easily got 25,000 there. Let's go ahead and just level her up an entire level. That did sort out that. And 5,000 officer XP, 10,000 officer XP. It's getting a little bit pricey now on the old officer XP. So three, six, nine. 10,000 over there. Take her up a level. Selena. I need to purchase one more time at the resource sale. I obviously did that wrong. Grab that there. And then head back over. So the only thing that I need to do now is uh, spend about 1,500 gold and gain about 6,000 gold. Okay, 6,000 gold. No problem at all. I will most likely go ahead and head back over here. That's 2,000 out of the 6,000. Just need about another 1,000 gold then. I'll probably go back over to uh, Zeus Fragments over here and grab them. That way I'm still gaining shards for the officers, but I'm also getting that gold that I need. All right, fan you lus I just need to spend about 1,300 gold now. 1300 gold, we could go back to whatever buildings that we're working on. Oh, nothing at the moment. Nothing at the moment. Upgrade, that's 600. Plus that, that's the 1300 that we need. So that should be the entire quest bingo complete. Wonderful, we get ourselves a golden Pandora. 
we get ourselves some additional gold, speed up and VIP. Then elite recruitment orders again, officer XP, skill books and lucky chests. And we get ourselves a giant Ferris wheel for finishing this off. It is a, uh, looks like it reduces the attack of enemy troops, mid-range enemy troops by 2%. Part of the actual uh, Wonderland Adventure set. So let's head over to our island now so that we can actually build that. I believe it should go over here. Once I've built it, there we go. We'll be able to put it exactly on our amusement park. Wonderful. Good business. And that is going to about do it for our wrap-up of the Wonderland Adventure event, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below how far have you progressed. Are you actually going to progress further in the Cross Nation Awards? Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the very next video. Peace out and big love. Oh, <laughs>